Hello everybody and welcome. And today we are gonna delve into the realm of creating your own custom template. First things first, let's open up the drawing manager and have a look over here. I'm just gonna slide this to the side and we have a better look at the drawing itself. Now down at the bottom, we've got our standard GA title block. We've got the revisions, we've got some marketing from Tekla as well as the model name and other information. Now, this is a non-printing color. This color will not print. You can barely even see it. If we go to the print preview, you see it disappears completely. This project builder name, address description, all those things can be filled in in your project properties. This over here, the drawing title, the 3D view, as well as the T1, 2, and 3, is basically the drawing name and 1, 2, 3 over here. The drawing itself, T3, is basically this one over here. Then your revision, this does not have a revision, so there's nothing in there at the moment. The project number and so on. Now, if we close this for a moment, and we head on over to the project properties, you'll see that name, builder, all these things have been filled in over here. Also, if we just go back for a moment, go down to the bottom, underneath attributes, a few more items that can be set to give information. Aside from this, if we open something like a assembly drawing, you'll find that we've got the material list, all the parts that make up this part, again, revision, and any of this information can be pulled into the drawing. Up here, we've got some general notes. These two general notes have been written in the template itself. This one over here comes from the project properties. If we have a quick look, you'll see that this uses the project info to field. Double clicking on any of these items, and going to Drawing Layout Editor. Now in the Drawing Layout Editor, we can take any of these items, we can move it about or delete it. Let's just move this one back up in the corner. And once we've done that, we can save it and go out and it'll stay that way. I'm not gonna do that just yet. The next thing we can do is double click on any of these items and go directly to the template editor. And this will allow us to edit the template itself. Up here, you'll find the location of that template. Let's close this drawing right now. Head over to Drawings Reports. And in here, Drawing Properties, we can get to the template layout editor from there. Now, I've created a basic on the part drawings. So let's start off by editing the simplest layout and that'll be for the GA. We're going to start off with opening up Tecla Structures GA and this will give us a fairly good starting out point or a starting position. From here we can say delete that marketing, uh, this one as well. I'm not really interested in the copyright note. Give us a little bit more space, a bit cleaner working environment. And we've only got three left to deal with. We do want to keep the drawing sizes that they have graciously already made for us, but I'm not really interested in portrait mode as I won't be using it. So I am gonna go say, remove that, remove that, remove that. Cool. Now I've already removed all of the ones that I don't, don't want to use. You can, of course, create new ones by saying plus and picking the paper size that you'd like it to be. It'll automatically change this to be that size. You can, of course, add a manual size if there's something specific that you want, and you can add a specific name to it. But for now, I'm just going to go for the basic sizes. Next. We don't really need to have a border, but I will keep the border anyway. 
I will make it smaller though, just using the 5mm. It gives us a little bit more space to work with. Next, I don't particularly like the fact that revisions up here, I'd actually like just a solid bar across the bottom where all my information is. So the first thing I'll need to do is get rid of some of this stuff. After getting these basics done, I'm going to say save as and I'm going to rename this to Fort GA Drawing. I'm going to grab all of these and save. Now the reason I grabbed all of the drawings and saved is because I want to include them all. If you say delete something like that on the A4, it will actually still get rid of everything except for the A4. It'll still exist on the A2, but not on the A4. So do pay attention to what you want synchronized and what you don't want to synchronize. I'm going to go back here and say synchronize everything again, just to get it so that all of my changes are on all the drawings. Double click on the one you would like to change, it'll select it there and you can say yes you'd like to edit the template. In here we are going to be taking out this logo and replacing it with our own. Now there is some small issues here as for example even though I put this in to add a PNG for myself it does not necessarily show. There's one in bitmaps as well there we go. Let's just make this the black one. And I've put in one inside environments, common symbols. Uh, next, I'm just going to say save as. I'm going to go to my PC C drive particular structures inside for template and I'm going to create well rename this to title block GA. Let's minimize this now that we've saved it in here. I'm going to say remove this title block and add GA. I'd like to position it based on this corner. Close. Now, as you can see here, for some reason the fort over here shows, but the other two does not, even though they're clearly in. So, even if you get your own custom location, for some reason it only shows from certain directories, regardless of which ones are included. Something to keep note of if you find that yours does not display for some reason. Next, there's a little bit of wastage in space here. I'm going to get rid of these two over there. I'm not particularly interested in any of this. And you can easily just replace all of this with your company information and actually keep it in there. Makes it easy as you already have a set position. Next over here, I'm not particularly interested in this whole style. So I'm just going to get this and move it in a little bit on each one. Get it nice and shaped, a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. Of course, the more space you can save, the more you end up being able to use specifically just for drawings or for your model view and you can get quite nicely how that looks a little bit stretched okay that should do uh, do it title field let's move this in as well It does not need to be that big. Let's move that down and we can easily move this down as well. And then the same with the builder. 
In fact, we can probably move this something like that. Remember the icon, uh, these little dots, you can space them up here and they're quite handy for keeping your stuff equally spaced, positioned. If you want to do that, and get rid of the drawing title. So all of the information are still going to be present. I've just moved the stuff around a little bit so it looks a little bit more compact. You could also just as easily delete any of this that you do not want. Let's get rid of that one. I'm not particularly interested in the address for projects. Next, this is the main contractor's name, which is the builder. I might not particularly want the main contractor's name up there. I might want to actually add a complete separate box for him as well as put their logo in. But for now, I'm going to do it this way. Let's move everything off to the left hand side. Once I've done all of this, if you double click on the background, you'll see you've got a width and a height. Height is basically from bottom to top and your work area. So let's make this 20. This is much less than what it actually is. If we say OK, it changed itself to 32.5. Same with this one. If we make it 100, it's going to tell us, uh, sorry, 100 is not doable. This is the minimum. So yes, I'd like to change it to the minimum. And that makes it nice and small. Let's again go up here. And we're going to say save as. GA, overwrite, we still actually have the original one open and we do not want to save over that. Now let's close that. Now, the moment we reload this, so if we go to just update the synchronized list, you'll see that this updates, we've got our logo, we've got all that stuff. If we close out the template editor, open up the drawing manager, open up the GA drawing. This is still using the alt style. Let's double click background, go to layout. We want to change this from TSGA to four. And we would like to use a three. Modify apply. Cool. So we are now using our own little title block and as you can see there's no other title block in the area now that this has been made so so much smaller let's go and say layout editor again and we can grab this revision bar stick it down on the bottom grab that one that one if you look here this is basically means that this corner of the bar is linked to that. If we place them on each other, just move that. That means wherever this is, that'll be on top. And that's a good way for controlling positions. Save as. And close out. Excellent. Now we've got our revision bottom left. We've got our little title block bottom right. It looks a little bit neater than it used to be. Cool. That'll be it for now. Uh, next time we will be creating or recreating for that matter, our title block from scratch to give us a very nice view. As you can see with this one, we've got all different odd sizes. Uh, none of this text looks like it's the same style size or anything else like that and really there's no consistency across any of this so we're going to be fixing that creating our own something that looks very nice and neat hopefully